What's up y'all, welcome to the series to start a photo booth business. Today in this video, we're gonna go over how to set up the 360 photo booth. Real simple, let's get to it. So the first step to get your 360 booth, obviously, is to take it out this case. Now I do suggest that you get a case when you order your 360 photo booth. It does come with wheels at the bottom and it makes it a lot easier to transport. I'll let you know right now that mine is too big to fit in my little car, my little Ford Focus. It's just barely too big to fit in there. So if it was my choice, what I would have done is I would have got a, a photo, a 360 photo booth that was smaller than, than 100 centimeters. The next lowest is what I would have got. That probably have been a three person photo booth, uh, 360 booth. And this one holds about four, but that's probably what I would have did if I want to be a, a more mobile pro, a more mobile person that goes to each venue and set up the 360 booth. But let's get right to it. So first, obviously I'm gonna take it out the case. It is pretty heavy for 100 centimeters. Like I said, then we're just gonna place it on the floor just like that. Now keep in mind, when you place it on the floor, you wanna angle the piece under it, the power supply, where you plug it in at, towards your outlet. So just give me one second, I'll show you that in a second. So just so you guys can see, I wanna show you a better clip of what I'm talking about. So under the 360 photo booth, there's gonna be a power supply. See right there? That is this power supply. And right there is where you plug it in at. So you wanna have this be the closest object to your power supply. That way your cord doesn't have to go across the whole uh, 360 booth from the other side just to get over here. So. Now, with that being said, let's plug it up. Now, on our, on our cord specifically, um, it looks very similar to the cord that we use for other devices like our light stands. So just keep in mind that this one says AC adapter right on it, okay? That way you can hopefully differentiate this one from the other ones. We've noticed that we had the wrong light cord plugged up to the 360 booth when it was running slow. And that was the cause of, the, of it running slow. So just make sure that you plug up the right cord to the 360 photo booth so you don't have any problems running the day of the event. So what I like to do is make sure I roll, go under and then plug into the base of the machine just to make sure that the head that turns around, that little piece that turns around to make everything move, doesn't hit the cord. That's the whole purpose of me having to go under. This way I'm kind of guaranteed that it won't touch it. Now let's move in to installing the cam, the phone holder to the 360 photo booth. So the next thing we're gonna get is this piece right here. We're gonna unplug it right down here. Yep. And I like to put it pretty close all the way up to here. I don't think you have to, but that's just my personal choice. You can, leave, you can put a little space in between just because sometimes people's feet come a little bit off the edge, but I would just, you know, in my opinion, I would just be more on them just to make sure that they're completely on the 360 booth. I always center them before they start. That way we don't have any complications during the event. So we're gonna take off these two pieces right here. These are the two core two pieces that go in between here to lock in that piece. We're gonna grab our first piece. We're gonna put it in the first hole at the bottom. And we're gonna put we're gonna connect that through this piece in the center. Alright guys. Pretty straightforward. Now this kind of you know touch and go when you do it. But once you get it through, the next part is just tightening it up. Now for this, for the second one, it's your preference. You notice that the second hole's a little higher on the wheel, okay? 
and it's up to you to kind of decide how far out you want this to hang. Now I typically go about two from the top, away from the three center of the 360 footable. So I'll go one, two over, and I'll, I'll, I'll point it out to you on the camera. So I start at the top and I go one, two over, and that's pr pretty much what I like to have it. That's just kind of my preference. And from there, we just tighten. Now we're one step closer to finishing the 360 booth. We extend out. Turn this towards the center. Place our camera right onto the 360 photo booth in the orientation that works best for you. And then I always like to give it a test walk around just to make sure it's not hitting anything. So I walk with it, make sure it's not too close to any drapery, any people. During the event, what I would most likely do is actually have my uh, sink, my ropes and sanctions around the perimeter and leave a little gap so people don't get hit by it. Next thing we're gonna do is plug it right in. And voila, now that we've tested the perimeter, we hear a little beep that is connected. Now that we have the app open, you wanna go here just to double check that's connected. I'm gonna hit connect new, connect to this one. Now that we are connected, I like to go over to the controller. I typically put it at 20 seconds and I put it on the fastest setting. That's up to eight. And now I give it a test run before I start the event. And we can see, it swings around perfectly. Now, it's like I said, I like to do a completely wireless setup. So now the 360's on, the camera's on, and I can sit right here, start and stop, start and stop. Now, let's move on to the television to make sure that people can see their footage and see their clips before, um, before actually moving to the next step. So, for the sake of uh, having the wires and stuff over there, I'm gonna move this television closer to the wire setup. And I'm gonna plug in our television. I need another outlet. Oh no, I'm good actually. That piece can come out. Now, next step is to plug in our Apple TV box plug it in and hook up the HDMI cord to the television. I'm gonna leave this right here. Now what we do is we tried to Velcro it to the back. It didn't work as well as we liked. So we're gonna super glue that one piece that keeps coming off to the back of the television. That way we can Velcro it there every time. And I'll show you what we kinda wanna do. So we kinda wanna take this back. You can see that it's been foot peeling off. We wanna Velcro it to the back and then that way it's always with the television if we want to put it to the back like that. Okay. So now guys, well, I'm going to hook this HDMI to the back of the television. So now the next step is to turn on the phone, start the software and run it. Now, if you guys want a video about how to set up touch picks and how to put Canva templates and custom templates on, the, on your 360 photo booth videos, check out the next video where we go we'll break everything down one step at a time for your next event. Okay guys, now that you have your TV hooked up, connected to the Apple TV, now you grab your iPhone and first thing you wanna do is mirror it to the Apple TV. So let's go ahead and mirror it. There we go, now we're on screen. Now, first thing I wanna do, go right into touch picks. We already have a pre-made event already set up. I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna turn it sideways, and I'm gonna put my phone on the 360 booth. So you can head over there, baby. Why do that? Get another angle. So I'm gonna set it up nice and tight. Make sure everything's good. And now, what I always do before the event starts, 
I'm gonna test it out. So let's see how it works. So now that the phone's on there, now what we're gonna do, test it out, make sure it shows up on the screen, test the, the QR code to make sure the video pops up, and we'll go from there. I, I wanna screen record again, so let me do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go to controller. Like I said before, I'm gonna change my settings, put it on 20, and then here we go. Now we can see as it turns, it's showing up right on the television. As you can see, that's my baby Lanise, wave Lanise. That's my baby right there. And you can see it's going around, it's showing the people on the 360 booth how they look, it's recording them, and then the session's done. You pause it right on your phone, and now they can walk over and check out their video. So let's check it out real quick. Now this is the old template that we used last time, so don't, don't pay too much mind to it. But I think it's a lot of fun. That sounds so cool. <laughs> <laughs> now as you can see, this is Lanise. We added our little slow-mo effect. Around here, this is our Canva template. And in the next video, we're gonna show you how to make these templates in your 360 photo booth video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, breaking down how to set up the 360 photo booth. Now, the next video we're gonna show you is how to really go into the software, make these templates unique and custom to each person, add the specific song that they're looking for, and make your 360 photo booth a success.